Hey everyone, today's video I'm going to teach you how to get better black levels and contrast ratio on your LCD display. Before the video begins though, I do need to give a couple disclaimers. The first is that do not expect this to turn your LCD into an OLED panel. It is not going to do that. Blacks are not going to be perfect. You can't get infinite contrast ratio on a back lit display with, you know, only four dimming zones. Um, what I what I would compare this to is like a either a cheap mini LED that doesn't have like a ton of zones or like a high quality VA panel. Uh, but either way, the point is is that it is very very transformative. It will drastically improve what you have. Obviously, an OLED would be better though. Uh, and the next thing I need to point out is that different you know different brands of monitors and sometimes even different series of monitors. They're going to have different names for the same options or there's going to be like an option that does something similar but that's not identical like you know like your monitor might not support a specific option that my monitor has so you know you can't rely on the exact names that i'm giving you kind of have to figure out uh what the equivalent setting is on your monitor because every display is different um i do i own an lg display that it came out like uh 2019 so anyways, with that out of the way, I'll just get into the tutorial now. So the first thing you want to do, and again, your display might not have this setting, but my LG display has a gamma setting that has four options, mode one, mode two, mode three, and mode four. So typically reviewers, if your monitor has this option, they're, they're going to review, they're going to give you the co most color accurate settings, and they're going to calibrate the display for the most color accurate mode. But what you're going to want to do instead is select the mode with the best uh, contrast ratio. Of course, as long as it doesn't like limit or restrict options and stuff. Uh, so for me, that's mode 4. But for this display, mode 2 is typically the, color, the more color accurate option. And if you need to find this out because you don't have your own tools and you can't do your own stuff, uh, just a review might mention which one's the most has the best contrast. If not, just Google online, look for a public discourse on Reddit and stuff, and uh, someone, another random person on the internet might um, inform you of it. And then you're going to want to calibrate that mode or find settings online uh, for the proper calibration of that mode. So me, I, I calibrated it myself because uh, I have the tools to do that, and you can also do it by hand anyways. Because the truth is, just to go on a little tangent, is that, like... As long as you calibrate your display, pretty almost all the modes are are viable and will look perfectly fine in a game, right? Like really, because uh, they're not far enough off the mark where you where it looks like something's wrong. So you don't really need to use the the most color accurate mode unless you're doing professional work and or, and stuff like that, right? Like this this mode that has better contrast after calibration looks just as good as the other mode but as just has better contrast as well so that's that's something you should keep in mind of course that could vary with a different display it could it could genuinely look a lot worse but that's not typically the case so that's the first step the second step is you want to find a setting uh, like black stabilizer which is the name of the setting of my monitor it says adjust the black saturation levels to make dark images stand out better in dark scenes so that's, that's what the description of my uh, black stabilizer is. Uh, 50 is the default, and for my monitor, that is also the, you know, the best level for, like, no black crushing. You go down to 45, there's some uh, black crushing that occurs. And then, but on 50, it's just, the image is blown out, though. So there's nothing perfect. It's kind of like a pick your poison, and it's always going to be that way on an LCD. So what you do is you get, like, you know, some reference images, or you go into your game, and then you turn down the black stabilizer as low as you can go without the blacks being too dark, right? So just turn it to like the best value where they're not uh, too dark, right? Like you don't need perfect visibility. Like, like you have to be able to see everything. Just make sure it's not too dark. So for me, that range is like 10 through 35 is like the ideal range because anything above that I feel is a little bit too bright. And anything below that is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to, I leave it on 15s. I feel like that's the best balance. Then what you're going to want to do is go to your contrast ratio. So for me on my display, the most color accurate, you know, perfect, no clipping. 
uh, contrast ratio is 66 on default settings. But since I lowered the black stabilizer, I'm going to want to adjust that uh, to make the whites brighter and pop out more in contrast with that black level. And it just, you know, it makes everything pop and it looks, you know, so very beautiful. So I changed that from 66 to 81 on my display. So you want to raise it as high as you, as high as you can before excessive uh, clipping occurs, right? So you are, you are going to want to image with some bright spots and stuff so you can check the clipping. Maybe even a couple images so you can just go through them. So you just make it as high as you can without excessive overbearing clipping. <clears throat> then after that, you can obviously run through those settings multiple times to make sure you have the best combination. But that's basically the, the gist of it. So you're trading some black level crush for better contrast. On an OLED, I would never do something like that. But on an LCD with no local dimming zones that you know has an average 1,000 to 1 contrast ratio, it looks very washed out. And and this this just looks a lot better, right? And I can still see perfectly fine in, in dark areas and games, you know? So, I mean, it's well worth it. It's, it's much more important to image quality. And yeah, when I did this to my display, it made it a ton better, you know? Instead of just following, just copying like a the perfect settings that like uh, ratings will provide with uh, you know, what mode to pick, contrast, RGB. Uh, this just looks much better for consuming media and and playing games. So you really only want it the other way if you're uh, calibrating your display for, you know, color calibration and stuff, uh, color grading. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Um, I might have some like comparison images in the description, although I don't know how well taking pictures of my display is going to appear on uh, uh, on pictures, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it anyways for you guys. Uh, peace out.